Hey, 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 how's it going everyone here with a bit of a uh, special video actually because this is a Figma. Uh, actually the very first time I've done a review for a Figma figure and actually the very first figure from Figma um, that I've actually pre-ordered before. Um, technically not the first Figma to receive since I did after um, actually pre-ordering uh, Yol and Anna who hopefully will come next month. I did also pick up the Railgun Figmas online. Um, but yeah, I thought, well... This is a pretty quiet month so far for the uh, SH figure arts, which I do normally review if you are new to the channel. Uh, so I thought, yeah, you know, it'd be pretty cool to um, have a deeper look at your here and kind of see how he does compare with the figure arts releases as well from Tamashi Nations uh, for those who might be like myself who don't really collect Figma. One thing I do love about the uh, Figma figures here from Matt factory or good smile is that they number them so this is product number 537 uh, so I'm assuming that's probably based on when they are um, announced for the release so that's pretty cool so if you are big into collecting or keeping all those numbers I think that's a nice little bit extra there now the box designs are slightly different on the back we do have that nice selection of images for what the figure comes with uh, one thing I really love that this figure comes with is the Spirit Mode Ami Damaru, as well as his katana, uh, the, uh, actually what is it called, uh, the Haru Same, I always forget that, um, and you've also got the Shift version and the one outside of that which is cool. Um, so yeah, let's just pop it open and for these ones, not from the side but from the top here, uh, so I think I've only opened them once to have a quick look actually, so still pretty new to all of this, it's pretty cool up there. It just slides out. So we've got your out of this packaging here. Um, and you may be wondering where are all the hands? And well, thing what actually comes with them on this cool little device, which we'll have a look at in a moment, just like a holder. Um, there's a lot more packaging with the Figma figures, a lot more plastic bags. Uh, they come with their own labeled bag as well. And this was inside another uh, package bag as well. Uh, so that is a little bit wasteful uh, compared to the Tamashii Nations figures, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, but jumping into the accessories, we've got your down the uh, right side. We've got the uh, shift katana, uh, the um, non-shift version. And uh, we've got the two Louis katanas for uh, I mean, Damaru as well as his uh, spirit tail. Now I've got the two additional faces, the uh, kind of shouting one, the kind of cheeky grin, and we've got the neutral uh, kind of smiling face on your there. I um, mean, we also have the, if you know the name for that, please let me know in the comments below. I cannot remember, uh, but this is the portable uh, little wee um, shrine that they have. Uh, so while Yo is out and about away from the grave site, I mean, Damaru uh, can just pop in there, kind of like a spirit pokeball if you will. And um, then we also have the additional, I think this is the uh, left arm, um, and that's got the oracle bell in there which is cool. So swing it around. Uh, jumping into the other accessories, so we'll move this out of the way. Um, one thing I love about Figma, uh, this is something which I wish Tamashi would do, um, and that is include a stand for every figure. So I've got the stand here, um, and these are actually labelled as well. Um, Got a nice, not sure if you can really see that, uh, but it does say Figma on there. Uh, now, this just um, pops in like any normal stand, and then as you'll see in a moment, there's a hole in the back of your where this will uh, plug into. And this is the one for Ami Damaru, I would assume. And I think it's just clipped on top. There we go. Now, as I was mentioning before, for the hands, which is really cool. Actually, I haven't even taken it out yet, but we have this, uh, I guess, um, hand holder um, with, I guess, a makeshift peg and all, all the hands just um, plug onto there. So it's a really good way of keeping everything nice and tidy and basically so you don't lose any accessories, which is fantastic. And it seems like we do have a spare peg, which is really cool. Maybe that's a wrist peg. I think that's awesome to include an additional, um, I guess, spare peg with a figure. I think that is a great idea. So let's get you all out of here and set them up on the stand. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot more plastic. Everything's kind of wrapped up. Um, I guess that is to keep things uh, protected so we don't get any paint rub. Um, but again, a little bit wasteful. I don't really feel like it's that needed. Uh, let's get the turntable. We've got the stand. And we'll just swing you around here to show. Um, there is the peg plug in the back. Now, this is something that uh, it's really handy. Uh, it does make kind of posing a lot easier, um, though I'm not a big fan of the plug on the back of a figure all the time. I think 
if you're going to be collecting Figma, that is something that you do have to accept. But moving over to Ami Damodo now, so we need to put him together. He's got a couple of parts. So we've got the spirit mode, we've got a spirit tail, and get it out of the box. So this just plugs in like so. Okay, so I can't get that all the way in at the moment, but since I'm going to be boxing your backup after this, I won't push it on too tight, otherwise I may not be able to get it off for now. Uh, but we do need these swords for him, so we'll pop these out of the box here. Now these just pop underneath his um my god, see, so let me put these on. So I've got Yo and Amidamu basically kind of set up here, um, but we'll jump into the uh, finish um, and the uh, design for this character so far. And yeah, you know, I'm a big fan of uh, Shaman King. I uh, watched the original anime way back in the day. I've read all the manga. Haven't finished the new anime yet. Still waiting for a good time to sit down and uh, binge watch it all. Um, but yeah, in terms of the... Um, Pulling off that aesthetic, the character design for your hair, I think it looks extremely good. It really does look like the character, and especially with the um, proportions as well. Uh, the headphone design on your hair is looking amazing. It's got a nice silver color with that orange, um, and it even has the ruffled, I guess ruffled, um, the crease lines in the leather of the headband, which looks great. Uh, the face printing is lovely, and especially on Ami Damodu, those lines for sculpting and the eyes in there looks absolutely amazing. However, with Ami Damodu, it was really hard to put these swords on. Uh, they're basically just on and same with his tail so that part's not really um, too good I think may need to kind of heat it up a little bit to get it um, in there and same with the sand here it's a bit uh, <laughs> um, not that strong so it is resting on yours um, at the moment um, but the overall finish it's quite different to the uh, figure arts lines which are normally pretty shiny um, but the finish and texture on the figure uh, especially your hair is that matte finish which does look really nice though the skin tones I feel like it doesn't quite look as natural as the um, Tamashi line though uh, it kind of has it does have that plasticky look um, but overall other than that yeah I think the finish looks really nice and I'm actually pleasantly surprised and really happy with the way he is looking there so jumping into articulation we'll start with the head I'm um, going forward back it's all pretty nice going back it will be hindered by these two little tufts of hair which does clip on his collar but it's not too bad it does have a I think a double joint there so you can extend it up a little bit higher uh, so you can get a little bit further range if you do that um, the swivel left and right is really nice everything feels really fluid um, not tight nor loose so that's really good um, tilting left and right it's not too bad um, yeah, I think a little bit further left and right could have been quite nice, but overall, uh, that's pretty satisfying. Now, coming down to the shoulders here, it doesn't look like there'll be too much articulation, so let's just see. Okay, so we've got the single ball joint in there, uh, so you don't have those butterfly joints or anything like that, similar to the uh, figure arts, unfortunately. Um, but everything does feel nice, uh, though it is just a little bit more limited in the range you have. But you can definitely do the uh, Y going up. It's quite nice. I'm um, going forward. We get a somewhat decent range. I mean, it's not spectacular, but it's not horrible either. At least it does look really nice, no matter which pose you put it in. Everything does blend in really well. Um, coming down to his shoulders, he does have a lot of um, uh, cloth ruffled there, so that's going to hinder the articulation. Um, but he can get what's that about a 90 degree angle on his elbows, so it's not too bad. Um, it's more just kind of limited due to his actual character design and that's not really something you can do too much about. Now coming down to the wrists, uh, you can definitely see the uh, pegs on these figures compared to the figure arts, a lot more noticeable um, and kind of some unnatural motion there. You have to be quite careful um, but you do have some fantastic range uh, since that full ball is exposed. Uh, so I think this will be quite good depending on which hand you're using and if it is a little bit more hidden you'll be able to get that articulation in there um, just where you need it um, though do be careful because you can kind of make it look a little bit weird coming down to his uh, torso here there is one single point of articulation uh, just below his or just above his rib cage and actually he can bend forward pretty far that is impressive I'm um, going back not so much um, I think it's more just his top there that's hindering it, um, but you can actually start to see 
um, underneath his waist there. Uh, so I think if you did push that back further, uh, that would start kind of uh, opening up a lot more and looking pretty weird. Um, so yeah, going forward, nice. Um, back, not so much. Um, yeah, you can actually tilt left and right pretty well. Um, but again, that gap will open up and it is a little bit weird. But if you kind of angle it, I guess, <laughs> on just the right angle, his clothing will block that gap. So um, a little bit hit and miss there. I'm coming down to his hips. Now his legs, actually they can spread out pretty far. It kind of has this weird, um, almost looks like a midget t-shirt actually, but um, his legs do actually move pretty well. Um, going forward, it's not bad. Since this is a uh, rubbery, it will move out of the way, which is quite nice. Um, going back, it's actually not too bad either. It does get handed a little bit just by that butt flap, but Overall, not too bad. Um, but yeah, all the joints feel really nice. It's got just that right amount of uh, resistance. Uh, his knees, not too bad. A little bit further up could be quite nice. Um, but overall, even when fully um, bent, it looks pretty nice. The um, hair colouring to the actual body uh, matches up pretty well. Now his ankles, again, uh, due to the uh, character design, should be pretty limited. Um, but we do have a little bit of tilting going on and it actually Okay, so this top part will swivel as well, which is quite nice um, And actually I mean considering the design there not too bad for the articulation I mean it's limited, but it's, it's passable <laughs> It's not too horrible so moving to the faces now, so this is the default one on the box, it's just that kind of happy-go-lucky uh, smile which is awesome. Uh, I think yeah, the printing is really nice, the eyes, you got a little bit of highlight in there as well. Uh, I believe to change the face we just pop the front bangs off and then we can uh, pop the face plate off as well. Next up is the screaming face and again yeah this one looks really nice, it looks really um, yeah, cleanly sculpted and all the lines and colouring of the faces, yeah really clean and nice, looks good. And finally we have that big kind of cheeky grin that's really nice, got the uh, curved eyes there. Uh, you've even had some extra line detailing on the teeth to really bring through the cheekiness and that smile is fantastic. Uh, I can definitely imagine him kind of skiving off, um, hiding from Anna um, with this face on him. So to change over to the Oracle Bell um, arm, we just have to pop out that arm from the peg there. It wasn't too hard to do it and we just slot the new one in. Just like so, and then we can attach a new hand. So let's put on one so we can hold the katana. Okay, so we've got a few accessories on your now, but I do want to quickly go over the sheath katana that it also comes with. Uh, so it's a lovely black colour and brown lines. Now the handle is exactly the same as the one attached to it, which has the lovely magenta and gold colouring. Now the hand here we have for holding the katana, he does have one for both left and right. And the oracle bell wrist here, this just has to pop off the upper joint here. It is pretty easy to take out and the hands are super simple to change as well. He also does come with an additional hand here to hold a portable tombstone for Amidamo, which is really nice. Uh, so yeah, overall the accessory is really fun and easy, and having the additional hand holder, I think is <laughs> very handy, um, especially since the pegs that Figma uses are basically a straight rod, uh, so it is nice and easy to switch hands in and out, you don't have to worry about popping it on or off. Now. That can bring us into, I guess, the final thoughts for this review. And overall, I'm pleasantly surprised with you all. I'm definitely happy I pre-ordered them and super pumped to get Anna next. Hopefully she does come next month, um, but who knows, she may get delayed. Now, your here was, I think, delayed for about two months, which seems to be a bit of a regular occurrence with good smiles since they aren't quite as big as Bandai, unfortunately. But, jumping straight back into your here, um, Pros, uh, the finish is really nice. I like the matte finish. Uh, the headphones look extremely good. Um, Ami Damanu looks amazing as well. I love it. Uh, black, red, and gold trim on them. Everything just really pops. Um, the way the stand works here is really cool. Um, and the accessories that comes with the Oracle Bell and the Katana, um, as well as the Tombstone, I think that is really nice. Uh, the a range of expressions we get, the three expressions there, I think they work really nice. It does kind of cover every range, which is really good. Um, changing the, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the hands is nice and simple as well. 
um, Nadja moving to the cons. Um, I mean, Damaru putting him together is really hard. This one will probably very slightly from figure to figure, um, but his katana, very hard to get on. His tail, very hard to get on. As you can see, it's not even attached properly currently. Um, his feet and the kind of hands, it's, I feel like this is common throughout Figma, uh, but it does look a lot more figure like uh, compared to some other figure lines out there. Um, the articulation, overall, not bad, nothing amazing. Uh, the shoulders are pretty hindered. Um, the forward motion is nice, but bending backwards is extremely limited. Um, while the hands do hold the accessories, they are kind of loose. I mean, it works, but it's not quite, I guess, as uh, clean or tidy as I would say the figure arts are in that area. Um, holds it, but it's just a little bit loose. Um, but yeah, overall, I think really happy with it. Um, as I mentioned, please I pick them up. Um, did you pre-order these Shaman King figures? Um, if you did, let me know in the comments below. If you didn't, why not? Is it because you don't know about Shaman King or you're just not into the Figma figure line at all? Um, and if you also want to see more videos like this going forward of other figure lines or just any kind of random reviews like this, then yeah, also let me know. Hit that like and subscribe button as well. Anyway, again, thank you very much for watching. And if you want to see photos of your hair, I will be posting a whole bunch over on Instagram over the coming, I guess, week or so when I do get the chance to take those photos. Uh, so yeah, until then, cheers.